Today, we'll reveal the most powerful jet ever built by the United Kingdom. It flies faster, higher, and more destructive than any fighter before it. A one-pilot army, a one-fighter fleet. This is the fighter that makes that possible. The Tempest Fighter, possibly the first sixth-generation fighter of the world. In July 2022, the UK made an announcement that would be repeated, repeatedly, in tens of countries around the world. It would be a constant feature in the most reputable blogs and be something to worry about for enemies of the United Kingdom. The announcement was a partnership between the UK and Italy to build revolutionary sixth-generation fighters, to build a new class of fighters that will dominate the skies for decades to come. Ever since that announcement, the details of the Tempest fighter became some of the world's best-kept secrets. But not anymore. This is Tempest's Flying Technology Demonstrator. A technology demonstrator is the closest thing to a fighter before the fighter itself. It features a fair number of core technologies that could help determine if the fighter will live up to its billing or not. Prior to this demonstrator, the closest anyone got to seeing the Tempest in action was a series of subsystem developments. For instance, the trials of the Martin Baker ejection seat, which involved a representative forward fuselage design that accommodated the Martin Baker MK-16A ejection seat. Four tests were conducted on the seat using a rocket-propelled sled to simulate motion and differently weighted instrumented mannequins to simulate pilots. These dummies were ejected at speeds between 320 and 515 miles per hour. Work went on in parallel on the fighter's one-of-a-kind power plant, developed using conventional and novel technologies. Aerodynamic engine testing took place at the Rolls-Royce facility in Filton, England. Then there is the groundbreaking simulator that has been developed for the project at a new facility in Wharton. Thanks to this simulator, a digital representation of the flying technology demonstrator has already been flown extensively with a team of pilots from BAE, Rolls-Royce, and the UK Royal Air Force. Away from the virtual simulation world, the flying technology demonstrator is now being developed for actual flight in reality. The crewed flight test vehicle is planned to take to the skies within the next three years. The results of its test could make or mar the production Tempest fighter. In fact, it appears to already be making changes to the Tempest. On the first day of the recent Farnborough International Air Show in England, the latest one-to-one -one scale model of the Tempest was unveiled. It featured a significantly larger wing with a modified Delta planform, similar to what is found on the proposed F-16U, the original Block 70 version of the American fighter pitched to the United Arab Emirates. A larger wing and the overall impressive size of the new Tempest concept suggest that the design is optimized, to a greater degree than it was before, for long range and a large payload. This should translate into more action time in the skies for the Tempest and a larger weapons payload too. A deeper magazine to ensure it is the last magazine that threats to the United Kingdom, Italy, and Japan ever read. Yes, Japan, the third largest economy in the world with a GDP of $4.2 trillion, behind only the United States and China. Constantly threatened by neighboring rivals North Korea and China, Japan has had no choice but to embark on one of the largest and quickest military buildups in history. In case of a conflict, the country will be prepared. Japan set to work on submarines, aircraft carriers, other surface ships, and bought a record number of F-35 Lightning IIs, but they still weren't enough. Then Japan set its eyes on the missing piece, a sixth-generation fighter. Enter the Mitsubishi FX. Japan's $48 billion solo attempt at a sixth-generation fighter. An informed, intelligent, and instantaneous fighter that would be a generation ahead of the contemporary fifth-generation fighter and cement Japan's spot as a top world power once again. However, in December 2022, Japan quit the solo route and joined the Tempest team. Tempest and the FX will combine resources and information to become one beast of a fighter built in a joint program now known as the Global Combat Air Program, GCAP. In addition to resource sharing and cost savings for each member country, 
The new resulting fighter from the merger will be built by the most skilled, most reputable defense contractors across two continents. BAE Systems, Rolls-Royce, MBDA UK, and Leonardo UK for the UK. Leonardo SBA, Avio Aero, and MBDA for Italy. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, Mitsubishi Electric, and IHI Corporation for Japan. 10 massive corporations, three powerful countries, one groundbreaking fighter. Sounds pretty unstoppable. Once completed, the fighter will be able to concurrently conduct surveillance, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, command, and control tasks. Its airframe has a flexible, software-driven next-generation flight control system that adapts with ease to rapid changes in the operator or environmental and situational conditions. Its power plant will include a thrust vectoring adaptive cycle engine developed by Rolls-Royce, built specifically for the fighter. As a result, the fighter will be invincible at subsonic, supersonic, and transonic speeds. And of course, the fighter will be ultra-stealthy, with an intent to not only be invisible to the most advanced air defense systems in the world, but also to the human eye. The fighter will feature sensors that enable it to sniff out every detail of the battlefield, avionics that enable it to process and share these details with friendlies in real time, and weapons that would easily qualify as weapons of mass destruction. The writing is on the air superiority wall. The UK, Italy, and Japan have set out to build an aircraft like no other, one that aims to rule the skies of the future. However, they aren't the only ones with such plans. Russia, an arch nemesis, and the US, a close ally, also have some things to write on the air superiority wall using six-generation fighters of their own. For the US, it's the NGAD fighter, and for Russia, it's the MiG-41. The Mikoyan MiG-41 is Russia's entry into the sixth-generation fighter race. It is expected to be a stealth interceptor aircraft and a heavy fighter that enters service between the mid-2020s and mid-2030s. Russia didn't officially designate the fighter as the MiG-41, but it has earned this unofficial name thanks to being a MiG aircraft with a project code having something to do with 41. Its planned name, however, although Russian, when translated to English means Prospective Air Complex for Long Range Interception, which is exactly what it's designed for, preventing the opposition from any form of superiority. And ironically, air superiority is all every other sixth generation fighter is on the hunt for. To ensure the MiG-41 comes out on top of its own quest, the Director General of RSK MiG, Ilya Tarasenko, speculated that powered by the Izdalia 30 engines currently under development, the aircraft would be capable of up to Mach 4.3 speeds, be equipped with an anti-missile laser, would be able to operate at altitudes that border on space, and could have an unmanned version. These are in addition to features that happen to be present in virtually every sixth-generation fighter there is, including a large airframe, loyal wingmen, highly advanced electronic warfare countermeasures, among others. According to Ilya Tarasenko, the MiG-41 can be completed as early as 2025. And now, the US's sixth-generation lethal machine, the NGAD fighter. Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD, is the sixth generation program of the United States. Its purpose is to develop a large family of next generation systems, including, but not limited to, new weapons, sensors, engines, networking capabilities, battle management capabilities, and the one they all revolve around, a brand new sixth generation fighter. Being the most consequential part of NGAD, the capabilities of the fighter determine the capabilities of the overall NGAD. Therefore, the fighter has as many technologically advanced capabilities as the US can fit into a massive triangular UFO-looking shell. Thanks to its large size, the constantly upgradable NGAD fighter will have record-breaking payloads of a new spectrum of weapons and propulsion. The weapons include everything from newer electronic warfare systems to directed energy weapons to loyal wingmen flying alongside. The propulsion system would leverage an adaptive cycle engine's power and dynamic nature that enable the jet to operate efficiently under subsonic, transonic, and supersonic conditions, normalizing supercruise for the fighter. 
The fighter will be an air superiority fighter with multi-role functions, the versatility largely owed to the fighter's high top speed and advanced stealth which could grant the fighter access to anti-access environments and enable it to deal damage to targets without having to slow down to become a target in the sky itself, as is the case with fighters today. The fighter will be intelligent, with top situational awareness gotten via highly sensitive and highly network-adaptable electronic-configured smart skins integrated into the aircraft's fuselage. These smart skins or sensors also come with maximum connectivity and thus the ability to share data with allies, whether sixth generation or not, meaning that all members of the U.S. fleet are simultaneously kept abreast of the situation on the battlefield. What does it take to dominate the world? No one knows, but the most powerful nations in the world believe it has something to do with sixth generation fighters and the invincibility they offer. To achieve this invincibility, these nations and their respective fighters need you to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. So do that now, and thanks for watching.